Welcome back to Houston, everybody. I am slowly starting to learn more about f franchise. I would say GM, but I guess it's technically franchise mode. I like to call it GM mode, but anyways, slowly starting to pick up on it a little bit more. My friend was actually giving me some tips the other day as well with the whole coach schemes, I guess, mechanic. So yeah, that's something that we definitely need to look into and I'll try to learn a bit as we go. But for now, we do have the draft. We don't have our third round pick, but we do have our first and second. So let's see if we can try to get some good players here. My notes are basically about trying to find X factors, but I honestly think we need to assign the scouts because I don't think we're going to have great scouting reports overall. Ward, 67 overall. Okay, well, let us sort by potential. And see what we got here. Okay, I like this guy already, and Teal looks like a legend. He's supposed to go 67th. All right, so Kavanov is an offensive defenseman. He only played six games, zero points, but he's got A plus for competition. No X factors. ETA for the NHL is five years. That's kind of long. Um, hmm. Saying this guy will be ready in three years. He put up... Oh, he did quite well. Uh, this is tough. This is a tough one. You know what? I don't know. I, I have a... I just... I feel like I want to go for Valerie. I just have a gut feeling. So let's go... Let's go with Kavanov and see. And then we can compare the two. So he's only 50 overall, but he is medium elite. Let's sim one pick and see when the other guy goes. And is anyone going to take him? No? He's just not going to get taken. That's not what I was expecting, but okay. And comparatively, there he goes. Okay, he was medium top four, and he's 65 overall. Uh, okay, he's an offensive versus a two-way. Okay, I'm not upset about that one. I think that one's all right. Let's him to our next pick and hop in here. Sort by potential yet again. So obviously we have the binoculars here. Esteban Teal, high elite, and it's pretty confident. He didn't do super good, but A-plus competition again. All right, no scouting there. We really got to do better with that. ETA, five years. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, you know what? This is our last pick until the fourth round, and I don't want to let this guy go in case he pans out. So, Teal. Oh, baby! High elite, 55 overall. That is huge. He doesn't have any abilities or X-factors, but that's okay. High elite potential. That is huge. All right, let's sim to pick 116 and see what we got here. But yeah, I definitely think I need to update the scouts and actually give them assignments. Uh, Svensson, Ulf Svensson is also a goalie. We got Thompson, but these are all very unconfident rankings here. Um, this one is fairly confident, supposed to go... What round did they say not to pick people with faces after? I think it was like round three. So maybe that's not the best idea, but let's have a look. One point in 31 games with a C minus competition. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, it says this guy will be ready in three years and they are very confident about that. Okay, he's a grinder. Milo. Should we take him? Take a risk on this guy? He... Oh, he actually put up a decent amount of points too. The competition wasn't great, but... Yeah, they're very confident in three years. And he's got the scheme fit, balance cycle. Okay, so you know what? Let's try to grab this guy then. Boom. Will he be all right? No, he will not. He is not good at all. <laughs> he's going to be in the AHL. So it should have taken the advice of not picking anyone with a face. But say la vie. It is what it is. What's done is done. I'm still happy with our first two picks, so... I think we have that to take out of this at bare minimum. This draft class actually doesn't seem amazing. I'm going to be real. Uh, Lubomir is medium bottom six, and they are quite confident about that. Uh, does he have an NHL readiness? Five years. And these are the guys they want us to pick, too. He apparently might have stick him up, but that is insanely unconfident. So I'm going to assume that he probably does not. Oh, man. What do we do here? What do we do? Do we just take him and take the bottom six forward? Or 
do we go ahead and take some risks elsewhere? Because five years NHL ETA. But uh, do we have any other confident answers for that category? Five years, four years. Like I want to see like a a three year very confident one. Okay, there's a very confident five. Yeah, this just seems like not the the best <laughs> draft class. But what can you do? All right, maybe we should just take him then and see where that gets us. Yeah, he might pan out. I really he's not going to have that ability, but here we go. Let's draft him. Medium bottom six and no abilities. Shocker. Is there anything in the gem and bust category? No, there is not. So that does not help. And let's go back to potential here. Don't really want to sort by any of this, so this guy was draft or expected to go 175, but again, that's only we do not have a lot of confidence here. I gotta I gotta get better with my scouting game. Zanetti is probably not a low top four. But let's have a look here. No. No, I don't think so. Can we find someone? Someone with like a low ETA. They're all five years, man. Like it's all super confident. I don't know if I'm not sorting correctly. There we go. There's a guy. Very confident three years ready, but potential is AHL top six forward. Would mesh well in any locker room. Has a very well-rounded personality. Like I guess he can upgrade from that potential, but man. Um, oh, he also might have an ability? Okay. Let's go with this guy. Let's just see if we can luck out. So he is the AHL potential, and he doesn't have an ability. Whatever, he's 62 overall. We can maybe try to grow him in the AHL and boost up that potential. Because he is a young lad, so tons of time to have that upgraded. We got, well, very confident in low top 4D. But he's also 5 years, right? Yeah. Takes winning seriously. Has an incredible drive to win. Loyalty is a concern. Uh-huh. All right. Well, Alvin. I don't think so, sir. There's like... Oh, there's not a lot to pick from here, though. If I'm going to be honest. Like, we could just risk it on one of these guys and hope for the best. Or we could take a goalie that might pan out. I don't know about this guy. No, I don't think so. And do we have any confident answers of when people are going to be NHL ready? Mm, five years? What about your stats? You got five points. Strength competition is an A. Rickard? Okay, well, I don't really see much of a, a better option here. So I'm going to take McConan for now. And low top nine. Lovely. That's okay. All right, well... I'm going to finish up the draft there. I would still call that a win. We got a high elite goaltender and a medium elite defenseman. We got some other players there that could possibly pan out. But no X factors. I tried. At least, you know what? We can chalk that up as better than last year. So, that's a win. And if we go to our contracts now, resign phase, we got to get some people back. Hurdle does not want an extension. I hate that for me. Brian Russ does. So let's try to give him a undercut and see if he'll take that. I'll get back to you about your offer tonight. Uh, Roslovic, offer him a contract. Hmm. I'll try to give him 3.5 and see what he says to that for one year. It's only one year, so it's not like we're locking him in long term. And he wants an extension, so that's good. Ethan Bear, definitely want to bring this guy back. He wants a long one. But you know what? Honestly, for like an 80, possibly 85 overall defenseman, if we can get him up there, $4 million would be an absolute steal. So I'm going to get him. He's only 24. Definitely a tradable contract if things really just aren't working out. What about Athanasiu? I feel like we could replace him in free agency if we had to. So, ah, uh, but we could. Mm? No, I'm going to leave him for now. Jumbo Joe, I'm definitely going to let him walk. So let's release Jumbo. Sorry about that. Zach Sanford, we can bring him back depending on how much he wants. Oh, he wants under a mil. And he's a depth forward for us. Listed as a grinder. Yeah, I, I like to have him on the team. So I'm going to try to give him 1.8 for three years. And actually, let's check out the goalies. I think we're fine there. DiPietro and Vladar. 
are going to be up next year. Deepatch was at 80 overall. Scott is still at 74. Teal, I'm not going to sign him yet for obvious reasons. We can maybe sign Klein next year, depending on how things go. And what else do we need to check? In the system, is there anyone that differs from the NHL guys? Ooh, okay. Deneen, medium top six, 72 overall, 24. Let's get you on a contract here just because, you know, you might end up working out. So let's see if you do. Doesn't look like there's much going on there. So let's go back to the main roster here. And the real question is, do we try to get Hurdle? Okay, so we got Bear. We got Roslovic. We got Sanford. And we got Deneen. Oh, we need to offer more for Rust. Okay, that's that's fair, I, I suppose. Let's try to give Rust a little bit more. Uh, 4.8. When I said a little bit, I wasn't kidding. And we got him. Nice. All right, so Rust is back on the team. And now it's down to Hurtle, the guy who I'm pretty sure is one of the only ones with abilities on our team. He's got three of them, and he does not want to re-sign. He is very happy with the coach. Okay. Yep. And let's check out... Oh, okay. Where do you see the scheme fit? It's got to be here somewhere. All right, well, this guy loves Ekholm, and I do see here scheme fit, but I see no data to display. So what's up with all that? How do I see that? <laughs> Unless he just doesn't have a scheme fit, which I don't know if that's a thing. Anyway, he doesn't want to sign. Oh, that's big. That is a big contract. Should I offer? Uh, let's offer him exactly what he wants and see if he accepts. And... Okay. That I feel I am worth, I've decided to re-sign. So we got him. That's a lot of money. You better do good. I mean, it's, it's still a tradable contract, considering he's only 28. We could definitely dish him off if things really go south. So we don't have to worry too much. At then I see you. I think I'm going to let you walk for now. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that, but it is what it is. You know, it is a business. We have anyone else here we want to sign? Not really. Wait, did Deneen? I think it showed him on the team, right? As a under contract? Yeah, okay. And we drafted this guy this year. He is 63 overall, but let's try to let him grow a little bit before signing him. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's that. And if we go to the top here, you can see that we don't really have anyone else we want to offer contracts to right now in the system. Doesn't really make a difference. Okay. And let's go to free agency. We have about $11 million of cap, sim to free agency, which is pretty good. The following scouts have not been renewed. Okay. Hire staff. Do we actually need someone? Probably. But I think we could figure out the scouts next time. Oh, an A overall head coach. Yeah, that's a solid coach right there. But team fit, not so good, unfortunately. I know that people were mostly saying to focus on team fit. And then after that, you can sort of just grow the coach. So this guy's a B minus. He's a generalist. And he has a 74% fit, which is pretty good. And you can see the team strategies here. And here are the line strategies. Okay. All right. That's a lot to take in. That is a lot to take in. Cool. Well, yeah, this is a guy we could definitely consider because he's a 74% fit, which is super good. I don't think we'd even get higher than that. I, I suppose it's possible, but yeah, it looks like 74 is probably going to be, oh, do I stand corrected? No, that was 71. Yeah. So I'm trying to think of what our current head coach was. Let's have a look at our current head coach and wait. Ah, I didn't want to do that. Get me out of here. Stop. Hey, nope. Stop. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go to coaching staff. So what fit do we currently have with Ditka. He is a 71. All right. So I'm going to make a rash decision here. See you, bud. And yep, you're gone. All right. So let us hire a coach, head coach. 
and let's find that guy that was the 74. Go. I can't remember what his name was, so I'm going to have to just do this and hope he's still here and no one else signed him. Boom. There he is. Brassois. Jerome. Cool. Yeah, he has a 74% fit with the team. And I guess we can build around these things later. He hasn't won anything. Atta boy. Oh, he's new, I suppose. Yep, brand new. Okay, well, welcome to the team. He wants, like, no money as well. I want him as the NHL head coach. Yeah, here we go. How much did he want? Let's, uh, let's just offer him that and see what he says. Offer contract. Boom. And if we advance a day... Actually, I'm not going to do that because we do have the free agent. So let's just hope he signs. But anyway, free agency. Who is available? Raquel. Oh my goodness, these guys want a lot of money. Cop is down here. So we, we do have a lot of really good players on free agency. We currently have $11 million of cap space. So we could sign... One of these big players and also get some lower down players if we really wanted to. But it's up to you guys. I want you guys to let me know what you're thinking. So this is the free agency list. I can go to goalies as well just to show you what's going on back there. So we got Jack Campbell, 87 overall. And he's 5.7 million. Wow. Maybe we should pick him up and <laughs> trade Dreger. That seems like a good bet to me. But then we'd only have about $5 million to get a skater. So we'd be able to get, um, like, from Burakovsky and down, I'm assuming. Yeah, something like that. All right, well, I want your guys' opinions. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Do you think Dreger will get the job done? Or should we go ahead and try to get Campbell? And then maybe we could even package Dreger with someone, like Ekholm. For a good player. A signed scout. I'm trying to figure out what you even really have to do here. Um, I, I honestly have no clue what's going on. So these guys are all very good in their region. So Arvidsson, do I, like, how do I assign you to something? Or do I not have to do that? You guys are going to have to let me know about <laughs> the scouts as well. You probably know more than I do. So yeah, there we go. We're trying to get a new coach to get a good chemistry there. Um, our AHL team, let's like, should we look, if we go into here, do we have like a AHL coach that really fits the scheme, AHL head coach, or do you even get that for the AHL head coach? I guess you do. Well, we'll have to check next year. I don't think you're really going to get a whole lot right now. So anyway, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed it. We got two good players in the draft, a high elite goaltender, a medium elite defenseman, and we have some other players that might pan out. We were able to re-sign Hurdle. And we were able to re-sign a bunch of other players as well. So, go ahead and let me know what you think about free agency. Give me some tips and advice on the coaches and the scouts. And I'll see you guys soon.